this is Rover 83. I made a video a few years ago uh, showing you guys how to run household electronics using a 12 volt battery and a power inverter like this that you see here. Believe it or not, it's the same exact battery still working and the same exact inverter, the 600 watt inverter and the starting power is all the way up to 1200. So if you're running like a big pump or something that requires a lot more wattage to start, it could handle that as well. I mainly use this setup just in case we have a power outage or when we go out camping, just to run some few lights or fans or things like that. Thanks for liking my video. Many of you guys really liked it and commented on my video. And a lot of you asked me, how do I keep this battery topped off? How do I charge this battery? I do not have a solar panel to charge this battery. So I charge this battery at home with a 12 volt battery charger. I'm going to hook up this inverter first and then I'm going to show you how I charge this. So first things first, I'm going to hook up the negative terminal first. There that goes. And then I'm going to grab the positive one. That goes right here. Let's just make sure it's working. I'm going to turn this on here. All right, so as you guys can see, this lamp is plugged into here. It's plugged right here. And I'm also going to plug in a USB light. As you guys can see, it's working. So how do I keep this battery charged off? See, this battery has additional set of terminals where you can hook up a load or a charger. So here I have a 12 volt, 12 amp charger. It charges up to 12 amps per hour or three amps in a power sport mode. So it keeps uh, the standard type of batteries and the gel mat batteries as it says here. So right now it's reading zero because nothing is plugged onto it. Here's the cable that is coming out of the charger. So I'm going to plug this in negative terminal first like that and the positive. Okay. So the battery currently has 12 volts and it has a 56% charge. So in 12 amp mode, it's gonna charge pretty fast, 12 amps an hour. This battery is 105 amps an hour battery. So the total capacity is 105 amps. So guys, this has been some time that this battery is plugged in to this charger. Let's see how much which charge it has now. Okay, you guys can see that it now has 82% and it is charging so that's good so guys i also wanted to mention that if you keep your charger plugged in to the wall and hooked up to your battery and if there's any load in it it turns this whole setup into a ups uninterrupted power supply for sensitive things like if you have medical equipment at home that needs to always have power to it or uh, access control panel or cameras or Wi-Fi modem routers. I know a lot of guys, they plug in their modem slash Wi-Fi router into it. So if uh, there's a glitch in the power, it does not turn off your router. Everything um, stays connected to your router. And I also want to mention that you don't have to have a big inverter like this, 600 watts. Some people may not consider it this is big. Depending on your power needs, you don't even need a battery this big. This is 105 amp. You could get like a 30 or 40 amps uh, an hour battery, which will be a lot smaller and it's not going to weigh a ton like this battery. This battery weighs a ton. I do want to mention, however, that I would recommend getting a pure sine wave inverter, which is sensitive for your electronics like laptops, tablets, and uh, TVs and stuff. You know, they protect your electronics really good. You could get them, you know, like a 1500 watt if your uh, power demands are higher, you want to run like a heater or something. Uh, I will say that heater is not going to run very long time with a battery like this because they do rob a lot of power. Let's see. So right now it has 86% charge. 
And I really like this charger. It's got a nice handle to carry with and storage to store the cables back in there once you're done. This particular one is by Shoemaker and the model is SC1200A. I've had this charger for so many years and still working fine. What I like about this thing is it does have a built-in fan so if it gets hot the fan does kick in to keep things cool. Some of you asked me what type of battery is ideal for a setup like this. There are many different types of batteries in the market. This one is an AGM. It's a gel matte. There are lithium batteries out there. There's uh, iron, li lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, lithium batteries generally weigh way less than these traditional batteries. You know, the, this one is extremely heavy. A lithium battery would probably weigh fourth of this battery in the same capacity which is 105 amp um, I will say that they do cost a lot more uh, but they also last l longer usually like uh, 7 to 10 years depending on which one you get some b batteries are better than others they have a deeper discharge so guys make sure you do your homework on the batteries or ask the battery professional at the battery shop before you buy a battery for your setup. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to charge this battery at home with a 12 volt uh, battery charger. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And I wanna include the links for these products so you guys can browse them. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I'll see you guys in the next video.